Hi guys, this is Matt here in Dubai. So let's say you are not an entrepreneur and you don't want to be. Let's say that this is something that is just not for you. Let's say that you just enjoy working within certain time frames and you enjoy someone telling you uh, what to do. Some people like it, right? Like I just, uh, you know, met two of my friends back from you know 10 years ago when i was you know back from childhood basically and um you know they finished their universities and they are starting their careers uh or started their careers and they say that uh, they like what entrepreneurs do these days in terms of traveling the world uh being you know free location dependent but also free uh to be able to work on your computer etc but they don't like this idea of like starting their own company they don't like the idea of taking their responsibility and risk they just want to take care of one thing that they are good at and they don't want to you know make sure that they don't want everything on their shoulders and this is normal for some people some people just don't like this entrepreneurial path this is not for me but there is a lot of people, a lot of my friends back from my high school, back from when I was young, who tell me they don't like to take so much responsibility. And they ask, is there a way for them to get this freedom, the same entrepreneurial freedom of traveling the world, working on a computer, but without starting their own company, without doing everything by themselves? You know, they just like entrepreneurs right just like online entrepreneurs they don't want to stay at the office they don't want to stay in rainy england rainy poland rainy netherlands germany united states uh during the winter work in a cubicle they don't want it they want something creative something cool something you know somehow entrepreneurial in terms of being creative while they are creating whatever they are producing uh but they don't want to take all this responsibility and this is cool this is okay there is a way for those guys to achieve that too. So what they need, what you need if, you dis, you, if you're this kind of person is, um, is three things, specifically three things. Uh, it's really not that hard. The first thing you need is to realize that you need to work with the market just like entrepreneurs. And the way that entrepreneurs work with the market is that they understand that customers are looking for specific solutions to their problems. So you have to forget about the idea of I will finish university uh, for, you know, like marketing or economy or like something general because nobody cares. Like companies that are potentially buying your services or in your case, your time, your projects, they will not care about like whatever university you finished anything general they will want you to offer them something very very specific so for example you want to offer them let's say Photoshop editing you want to be the best in Photoshop you want to have this skill you want to offer to companies there is a lot of companies who need this as a process in their company to edit their pictures there could be another specific skill like for example you know if they are posting a lot on Facebook or, or if they are publishing anything out there um, they need people to write the text, write the, write the copy. So this is a, another specific skill. You learn how to write the copy, you offer this to companies. Um, you could learn coding, you could learn Facebook ads, you could learn you know, specific uh, 3D modeling. Anything that you did before, but you have to focus on one very specific skill and you have to offer this very specific thing. So forget about like being general, like no more general stuff. So that's the first thing, this is how entrepreneurs think. So you can think like this as a uh, freelancer, as a contractor, as a you know person who work with them individually, you can um, do it too, but you need to offer a specific skill. Second thing um, that you have to do like entrepreneurs do, you need to sell it. So you need to learn basic of sales, but I'm not talking about like Wolf of Wall Street sales. You need to learn how to get those customers, how to find them. And this is a struggle for many people who are not um, entrepreneurial or who are not re you know like willing to start their own companies because they just don't like this idea of sales they don't like this idea of like pushing your product or service they just like to get uh, projects and just do them and I understand that but uh, you don't need to learn any like crazy sales you just need to learn basic ways to get customers so you should check my other videos there is uh, all those um, explained but basically you should find out how to get customers from Upwork from Fiverr from Facebook from YouTube from LinkedIn 
in your social network all those uh, options are available out there so you just need to learn how to find them and you need to learn how to offer something to them and then there is not going to be any crazy sales for you there is just going to be finding them that's the most important thing so at the beginning it's hard to sell something for you if you're not you know like willing to go into sales and wolf of wall street kind of stuff you just have a skill you have a good specific skill and you just want to offer this so what you can do is offer like really cheap services for your customers like one hour of your work or like a test project or something for free and this way you can win their trust they can see you work well and this way you can sell to them after so that's uh, the way to acquire them so just to summarize what we went through so far make sure you offer something very specific and second thing is make sure you know how to get those customers then the third thing if you don't know how to sell to them once you get them offer them something for free at the beginning or something very cheap to win their trust and this is how you become a freelancer this is how you become a person who um, is not really a business owner not really a uh, you know like big of a entrepreneur with all these responsibilities but you get uh, all these benefits that entrepreneurs get, like for example, being okay, location independent, or for example, um, you know, being able to just have this freedom of creation. Thanks for watching the video, and I see you guys uh, tomorrow in Vietnam.